Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. Today we are diving into Workflowy, which is an app that I do like, but I haven't talked too much about on this channel. It is really easy to use uh, for basic note taking and outlining, but it has a lot of cool features as well. And once you learn this app, which isn't too hard compared to a lot of the other uh, outliners out there, like Tana, LogSec, even something like Taskade, this feels much lighter, much easier to both use and to learn. So what I like to do is that I like to set up my para right here with an inbox and I would like to store a star all of these and you can easily star something by pressing into it and then pressing the button right here. So unstar star. You can show completed here or you can share this as well. Uh, but basically uh, what I will do is that I will probably put everything inside of the inbox. That's what I like to do. So let's say a task comes up. Uh, this is, is a task and inside of this tasks uh, I want to uh, write a note. Uh, so take out the trash. What this basically does is that it allows you to nest uh, notes or bullet points within other bullet points. So this is a task, take out the trash. I have an area here uh, or an area page. So once you open these bullet points up, you can actually uh, view them as pages, uh, like in Notion, what we would call a page inside of something like Notion. So once I press this right here, it opens up a page with the different backlinks as well as the notes I have taken. Uh, let's say I wanted to add one for uh, personal stuff. Let's just call it personal stuff for this video. Now let's jump back into uh, the inbox right here. We can actually move this. So you can move to either by pressing Alt, Control, M or just uh, pressing move and moving this. Let's try again. I clicked too hard. Let's move this into personal stuff right here. And now it is moved into my personal stuff and I can view it right here, which is really cool. You can choose to uh, see this as bullets to do or uh, a board. I like the board view for tasks. So what I would rather do inside of this uh, rather than adding all of my tasks in different places is that I would have a dedicated task view. Uh, so let's go back into home. We will call this tasks like this. Now you have tasks here. I am going to change this into a board view uh, and we will have different board here, boards here. So to do doing and done. So now we have our different boards here. As you can see, these are also bullet points because we can click into them. Now uh, let's jump back into this personal stuff bullet point right here. And let's actually move this one. So we can move it to to do because to do is a bullet point. You can move it into that bullet point. So let me try and explain that a little bit better. Um, this is a bullet point right here. So the way Kanban boards work is that uh, I explained earlier that you can open a bullet point to see a page. Well, basically what Kanban boards inside of Workflow it does is that it opens three pages at the same time. So it opens three bullet points at the same time. Here we have opened the to do, the doing and the done. That's basically how the Kanban boards work inside of here. And I can actually move this around or I should be able to like this. If you hold the bullet point, you can drag this around. Uh, and you can go ahead and delete them if you want. I personally would not delete any of my to-dos. It's just a personal thing. Uh, you can go in here and you can add a due date to this. So you can use the uh, backslash here to get the command menu uh, to press add date. And we can 
choose a date from right here. Then you will have the date inside of here as well. That is uh, also a really cool feature that this app has. As you can see, once you sort of get through the basics, this is a really powerful application that I feel like not enough people are talking about. Uh, I feel like too many people are interested in uh, the apps with the coolest features, even though this has many of the same and is even better because it is so easy to learn. Anyways, let's jump back into this. So I have one for people and relationships, uh, and this is how I would use this. And so let's say this is Kasim. This is my co-founder uh, co uh, of the clothing brand, which him and I started together. Let's say I had a call with him recently. So uh, call called uh, Kasim. Uh, I do not need to actually link it to or write his name, but I will do that. Called Kasim about, uh, and we can do backlinks inside of here with double brackets like this. Called Kasim about Sakamura, and we can add a date here as well. So let's say I called him last week. So the way I would use this is sort of like a relationship tracker. This way I can actually see when the last time I talked with someone was what we talked about. So let's say I talked about uh, ideas for new products, for new products. So this allows me to uh, sort of control and see when I talk to people and what we talked about. This is how I would use it as a, as a, um, a relationship tracker. Uh, another cool thing is that you can mirror things. So a bullet point can live in multiple places. You can mirror this to, let's just do inbox for right now. Uh, we can jump into the inbox. We can add something here. Add something. Still can't spell. Add something. Here we have it. Now if we jump back into the resources, you can see that this changes and the bullet point changes as well. It isn't round anymore because this is mirrored. So this lives in multiple different places, which is a feature that I think a lot of apps could benefit from. So we do not have to duplicate our work all of the time. And even backlinking does not work perfectly all of the time, even though it is great to link different things together. This app allows you to do that and it also allows you to mirror things. So you can uh, link uh, directly to something, uh, which is really cool. Uh, you don't have to actually write the same thing multiple times. Here we have our projects and just to round this video off, I will show you the command menu here. So as I said, we can change this to board bullets to do. I would probably have my projects in a bullet view here as well. So uh, in a board view, sorry. Uh, and I would call this upcoming projects, upcoming projects doing projects, doing projects, and done projects. I would probably add one for cancelled projects as well, done projects, uh, and probably add one for done projects as well. And we can add our different projects into here. So let's say design new, design new collection. For, and we can add the clothing brand here. This is a project and I can go in here and I can add new things. So this is basically how I would use the use the projects inside of here. Uh, we can upload files here as well. So let me just upload this. So the whole file becomes uh, a bullet right here and you can see it, which is great if you are actually designing a collection for your uh for your clothing brand which i am doing if you like to have visual things if you like to have images and files 
and see them, this is a great feature. We can open this up and you can see it right here. So this would be inspiration, for example, and easily accessible. So again, this is a really cool looking application with a lot of cool features. Now let's end this video off by talking about the pricing. So they have a uh, a free forever plan which gives you access to all features but it has a monthly bullet limit you get 100 megabytes of upload cap basic sharing options and community support uh, on the annual uh, billing you get uh, for for 49 uh, dollars or four dollars and eight cents each month you get unlimited bullets unlimited file up uploads, full sharing options, auto backup to Dropbox and premium support with a free trial here as well. You get the free trial on the monthly plan as well. So uh, it isn't the most expensive uh, note taking app or productivity app and it offers a lot for uh, the price. It is a really underutilized app, easy to learn, easy to use, hard to procrastinate inside of an app like this. And it basically offers everything you would want in an outliner and a note taking app. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.